Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you here today, and I'm excited to share a profound insight that has shaped my career and inspired my latest book. It's called Dixiv, a model for problem solving, critical thinking, and creativity. The essence of this insight can be captured in one simple truth. You might have thought about this before. Every job, whether it's a job to lay bricks, lay tile, nurses, doctors, engineers, every job is a problem to solve. Think about it. Every job in the world at its core is a problem solving proposition. When you boil it all down, you're being hired to solve a problem, to take care of a need. If a job doesn't solve a problem, can we really call it a job? In our everyday work, we encounter problems that need solutions from the barista perfecting your morning coffee to the engineer designing bridges to the nurse caring for patients. Each role addresses specific challenges and fulfills critical needs. This universal truth is what drives us to excel, to innovate and make a difference. So allow me to share an anecdote from my own life that underscores the power of this perspective. Years ago, I found myself at a crossroads. I was stumped, I was unsure of my next step. The crazy economy had crashed back in 09. And like many, I believed the best alternative was to seek out new job opportunities. Little did I know that the true solution to this problem lay in me launching my own business in teaching, in consulting, and coaching. Little did I know that the gold at the end of the rainbow was in that solution, not the one I was thinking about. What made me go into that solution finally is there was no other option. I had tried one solution and it failed and I had to reloop and choose the next solution. It was a leap into the unknown, but it turned out to be the best decision I ever made. I'm living the dream, helping people find their dream, helping people find their destiny in project management in leadership and in business. And this journey taught me that sometimes the passage of time is the best litmus test that proves whether our solution was indeed the best alternative. Another story to illustrate the point is about an engineer, an accomplished engineer who once faced a daunting project. The bridge he was being tasked to design had to withstand extreme weather conditions and he spent countless hours identifying the root causes of potential failures, generating multiple alternatives, and ultimately choosing the most resilient design. Today, that bridge stands as a testament to his problem solving prowess, safely connecting communities, even in the harshest conditions. When we talk about problem solving, I believe everyone, everyone in this world should have a method to the apparent madness. Because depending on the size of the problem could very quickly spiral. And in order to deal with these problems, you need a dedicated, tested and tried mechanism. And that's what prompted me writing the book, Dixiv. This just stands for defining the problem, identifying the root cause of the problem, generating alternatives, choosing the best alternative, implementing the alternative, and verifying that it actually worked. And it sounds very simple, and that's because it is. But to get the most out of this model, there's a lot more to the structures that fall under each letter. They are tools, techniques, inputs, methods, and models and other artifacts that help you be able to do each one of these. And that is what forms the web of the Dixiv model. 
that is in this book. I'll share with you another illustration of a story of a problem solver. Problem solving is about understanding the problem at hand really well, defining it as I went through the letters, identifying the root cause, using your common sense to creatively generate alternatives, choosing the best alternative. And even if it isn't apparent at first, as Thomas Edison famously said, when another experiment of his light bulb failed, what did he say? I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. And each of those ways is a step towards finding the right solution. And that's why I created Dixiv. It's comprehensive. It's designed to guide you through the process of tackling problems, critical thinking, and unleashing your creativity. The Dixiv model can be applied to critical thinking. And I have a place in the book where I expand on using Dixiv to critically think. I also have a part of the book where I show you how to use the Dixiv to creatively explore your universe. Isn't that exciting? to have a method that caters to solving problems, critical thinking, creativity, with a lot of intricate tools and techniques, a web of connectivity to help you become a specialist in taking that bomb apart. That unwelcome guest, knowing how to settle that unwelcome guest or take them outside of your residence. That is what problem solving is about. And that is what I teach you in the book, The Dixiv Model. It's for this reason I created the book because I truly do believe everyone needs a toolkit. Whether you're defining the problem, you need a toolkit. Identifying the root cause, a toolkit. Generating alternatives, toolkit. And the other pieces, choosing the best alternative. You need a framework. When you're working with many people, when you're working with tens and hundreds and even thousands of people, you need to know the framework to solve the problem and all the tools and techniques that will help you do that. And not just that, you also need to be a specialist in facilitation of the Dixiv. And that's why in the book, I also teach you how to facilitate a Dixiv session. I also teach you the mindset that you want to imbibe in people coming for the Dixif. So in this seminar that I am holding, check for the date. We're gonna dive deep into this model. We're going to explore real world problems. We're going to engage in group discussions. In fact, there's one problem that has been burning on my chest for a while. And it's a problem that the Project Management Institute currently have. And we are going to break this apart, unravel it in the workshop and apply Dixiv to that unique problem. We're gonna use that as a model so that you have a way of applying it to your own world, whether it's personal problems, whether it's job-related problems or whether it's a problem at work, you're going to engage in group workshops and apply these principles to critical thinking and creativity. And by the time we're done, you're going to walk away equipped with practical tools and strategies to solve any problem, you name it, affinity diagrams, WBSs. You're going to work on the Ed DeBono six thinking hats, which will catalyze your ability to generate alternatives. I'm going to teach you my empire model. I'm going to teach you the PACE model for generating ideas, for defining the problem. By the time we're done, you're going to have so much firepower in your arsenal. You're going to be very well prepared for life to tackle problems by applying the Dixiv model. So I invite you to join us at PM360. And if you want to sign up right now, go on down to 360.pmradio.org. That's 360, all numbers, 360.pmradio.org. Sign up for the next one. It's happening this weekend, 
It's on a Sunday and it's from 3 p.m. Eastern to 7 p.m. Eastern. I've taken it outside of those hours that are troublesome so everyone can attend. We're going to learn to tackle the beasts that stand in our way. We're going to learn to turn obstacles into opportunities. We're going to learn how to turn challenges into triumphs. And we're going to learn how to become true, intentional problem solvers. So thank you for your time. I look forward to seeing you at the seminar. Remember, every job is a problem to solve. And every solution starts with understanding the problem. Why not use the Dixie model that is simple and transparent and can take you to your definite chief aim, which is to solve the problem. I'll see you in the session. Thank you. And bye for now.